How are you doing? Today's topic is about a Japanese man, Tetsu Nakamura, who is a Japanese doctor known as a man of merit of waterway construction in Afghanistan. I think he's a man we must not forget forever in the history of human beings. So that's why I picked up him here. So Afghanistan originally had the fertile Greenland with so many glasses and woods before devastation caused by war and conflicts. And there are actually so many places where war and a conflict that have lasted for a long time changed it into desertification with rebels and gravel. So this situation also afflicted so many people's living in Afghanistan and water scarcity became a pretty big problem for Afghans in Afghanistan. So if there's no water, it is almost impossible for people to make fields and orchard to produce agriculture crops and secure food to eat. And if there's no water, it's quite difficult to improve sanitary situation and it, it ends up increasing the number of people who suffer from serious disease because they are forced to drink dirty water. So, and if there is no water, it's quite difficult to make patients swallow uh, medicine tablets smoothly. So water is obviously an indispensable resource that we must secure to survive, especially in Afghanistan, where there are so many people living with the fear of death on a daily basis. So Dr. Tetsu Nakamura limited over this situation where so many patients had faced death because of water scarcity during his lifetime. And he said during his lifetime that the trigger that he embarked on the waterway construction project was the large scale drought happened in 2000 in Afghanistan. So he felt familiar with the influence of the serious drought happened in Afghanistan in 2000 while he kept providing medical assistance for patients with Hansen disease in Afghanistan. So many children were, he said many children were infected and dead because they drank dirty water. And, and he also said farmlands were devastated and villages were all abandoned because of water scarcity. So this is the one primary factor that drove him to construct waterway in the desert in Afghanistan. So he firstly uh, solicited contribution from wide variety of people as foothold of his, you know, aid activity through an aid organization called Peshawar. And this is a Japanese energy or organization. Peshawar is a Japanese energy organization that provides financial assistance to Tetsu Nakamura's project. But originally this organization was established for the purpose of financial backing of Tetsu Nakamura's medical assistance for Middle East countries in 1983. By the way, the name of his aid organization, Peshawar, is the name of the place in Pakistan where he started his career as a volunteer doctor. So Peshawar in Pakistan Peshawar in Pakistan was, the, was his very first place where he started uh, as where he, he started working as a medical volunteer doctor and mainly he devoted himself to treating patients suffering from Hansen disease in Pakistan so in the meantime uh, the government of Pakistan tightened the political crackdown against foreign medical aid organizations domestically so that he had no choice but to relocate his activity base from Pakistan to Afghanistan. So he moved to Afghanistan. So even after moving to Afghanistan, he still kept providing medical assistance for patients in Afghanistan for, th for the time being. So at the time of large-scale drought in 2000 in Afghanistan, he made up his mind to develop waterway 
in the middle of the desert in Afghanistan. So the year when he started embarking on the waterway construction uh, was uh, 2002 and 2003. And he constructed a waterway in the middle of huge desert with a total length uh, about oh, 25 kilometers in 2010. And he spent almost seven years seven years to complete 25 kilometers waterway in Gumbari Desert in Afghanistan. And he firstly teamed up with uh, former guerrilla soldiers and started constructing waterway. So in the process of waterway construction, he experienced so many difficulties and bad lacks, and everyone had to work in the extreme heat, which was, which was about 50 degrees Celsius in the daytime every day. And he had frequently traveled like a uh, collapse of waterway and water flooding because of uh, frequent climate change. So it was like one step forward and two step backs. So he said that nature, nature was not obedient. So Kunar River flowing from the Hindu Kush mountain range flooded oftentimes so this trouble was for forcing him back to the square one. So while he attempted trial and error, he directed his attention to the technology of waterway system invented in Edo period of Japan, uh, 100, 100, 100, a couple of hundred years ago. And he practically adopted this traditional Japanese traditional waterway system technology to this waterway construction project. So in 2008, a Japanese staff of Peshawar was kidnapped and, and murdered by an armed group in Jalalabad. This, is a, this was a tragedy for him. So while he experienced a tra tragedy and these bad lives, at the time that the waterway was finished. A part of Gambari Desert became fertile Greenland with six, 16,500 hectares wide. So people made, people started making fields and orchards around the waterway that produced uh, oranges and potatoes and grains and around 650,000 local people returned back to this place, their hometown. And he also uh, built a village with inhabitant built buildings and Muslim temples and schools for children. So his achievement of waterway construction project brought great contribution to people living there. So this project of waterway construction was originally started with the thought of improvement of patients' disease. This waterway construction reactivated, reactivated uh, fertile green lands from devastating desert. This waterway construction gave people job. This waterway construction gave people land to live. This waterway construction uh, revived farmlands and regained farm work for farmers. So he said his, his motto, his motto was the one waterway before 100 medical treatments. So I want to pay my great respect to him. I feel really sorry that he lost, we lost a man of a savior in this world. So we really have to pay our great respect to his devoted contribution for Afghan people.